everyone welcome to my channel after a long time rest I decided to make uh, this video this video is gonna be about something good um, my orchid made me happy and I want to share with you my happiness today um, all of you uh, who is uh, watching my videos you know already this orchid um, I will show you this orchid and you will um, remember what I am talking about I have lots of topics uh, to talk with you about but um, the, the topics are gonna be about problems but today my first first video I decided to start with something good and here is my orchid which I want uh, uh, I want to show you this and I want to talk about this orchid you see that and you see something um, something on the flower spike you see the hiding leaf here under behind the behind the flowers about this thing I want to talk with you today let me take my pot from the shelf this orchid was on the topest shelf and when I was watering last week I put um, that orchid on the second shelf let me take it and I will show you my orchid here uh, my orchids are blooming this orchid is blooming from the same spike from the old spike fifth time this is fifth flowers from the same spike and um, I have on top shelf here uh, my orchids that are growing new flower spikes from the primary spikes all of them are growing spikes and I will show you then when they bloom and here my um, mini orchids you see you saw this orchid usually this orchid lasts for me when it starts blooming from the uh, till the end it lasts uh, for eight months but this time it's not lasting long because I have I had problem and I sprayed some infesticide insecticide that's why the flowers are faded usually this orchid lasts for eight months and three months um, early uh, this orchid uh, started fading and here I have my dendrobium it's about to bloom see it grew a uh, flower spike from the baby and it's uh, started blooming it started blooming here um, I have my other mini orchids uh, some of them I need to replant I didn't replant yet and here I have my vandas some of my vandas I planted them I will talk about this later and now I want to talk about this orchid this is very interesting here I have Here I have my epidendron. It, it's re-blooming for me. Last year I bought this orchid. See, it's blooming. And this time I have lots of flowers. I'm very happy. This is my husband's orchid. He loves this orchid and that's why he bought for himself. <laughs> and I'm taking care of, of course. Uh, here, the other color, pink one and its flowers are started fading also and I have lots of babies from this orchid lots of babies and here this one is growing flower see on top small small tiny flower spike it started growing and I'm very happy with the results and today let's show you this orchid 55 days ago I replanted these orchids, both orchids, uh, they were, I named that video, uh, replanting two root rotted orchids in one pot. About these orchids, I want to talk today. As you see, this orchid started blooming for me after I re replanted it. I replanted, when I was replanting, I put border between them because I wanted, uh, I didn't want, um, their roots to grow to each other and you see as you see the border is still here can you show and in 55 days this orchid 
grew both of them they grew new leaves see these are new leaves I didn't have these leaves that time see that this one is the, the this one also has new leaf and they both started growing new roots here are fresh new roots with green tips and see this one this one is growing new roots too it's going into the medium see these both roots are new and here on the flower spike this is primary spike this one see and from this primary spike when i was plant replanting this orchid i showed you that i am not taking out the 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 stick which is holding flower spikes i didn't change anything and i didn't cut the flower spike and from these primary spikes it grew two spikes one of them is spike really spike and one of them i will open and it will show you i made both of them together i put them together you see one is grow, uh, one grew spike see and it's blooming one spike which is this orchid it uh, grew for me baby see this is baby orchid i showed you that from these uh, places which we call nodes from these nodes um, i see this kind of uh, see new growing tips and I told you that from these places, this orchid can bloom and it can grow new spikes and soon we will see the flowers. When I see the flowers, I will update. I, I told you that I will update. And see now, this orchid grew uh, spike and here it grew baby. And from this baby, this baby, it's tiny baby. See, how I, I will show you the size it's very interesting see it's uh its leaves are size of my nails see it's very tiny but this orchid it decided to bloom for me it grew four four uh flower buds but one was faded uh, because when it uh, was forming this kind of flower buds i sprayed uh, insecticide because i started having uh in my collection millibugs i found lots of orchids from trash and with that with those orchids um millibugs came to my house and whole my collection it was infested with millibugs and i did whatever i did i i am fighting with millibugs for years last year i started fighting and still i'm fighting now thanks god i don't have any any millibugs if you are interested how i got rid of millibugs i will share with you i will make another video about that i found something very effective uh, which killed all my millibugs see here signs of millibugs here but they're not active they are dead see they are not moving anymore and all the eggs they are killed also they are dead after i sprayed millibug in, uh, insecticide uh, the bud which was forming it blasted it was about to bloom it was opening and when i sprayed insecticide to the flower spikes and everywhere uh, my flowers some of my flowers started fading the day didn't fade but after three days it started dying uh, and it's okay they will rebloom again if my orchid is healthy it will bloom more for me but you know when when you have millibug um, problem the even the flowers they don't uh, uh, last long they fade 
faster because mealybugs they take energy everything from the flowers and from the uh, leaves and they don't let new leaves grow they take they suck the juice from the new leaves and the new leaf it will not grow proper size it will stay small and you don't like that and that's why i didn't i closed my eyes and i sprayed in face in insecticide here see this tiny baby see how this the size of the baby how it's small it's very tiny it's the size of my finger middle finger see and the, the, it started blooming for me and here see this baby it has it had four flowers and one of them is faded and here see it, this bud it will bloom for me and then i will have three flowers from this this baby it has flowers and also at the same time even it's so tiny it decided to grow root for me it means it's very good sign you know i my other orchid see in this in the pot even it's growing new roots from the old roots it's very good sign um here i need to talk about the medium um, if you watched my videos, uh, previous videos, you know already uh, that I make my orchid medium myself. Uh, I buy from Lowe's um, pine bark mulch. This is mulch. This is not special uh, medium for the orchid. I make it myself. It's very easy and it's very cheap. You save lots of money um, from orchid medium. And at the same time, it's very effective. Uh, your your orchid um, feels it uh, you know it feels himself very happy with this orchid medium and here I have some charcoal this charcoal I make myself it's very easy you burn some wood and uh, after it will burn out you put in a water and that way you get your charcoal and I put some sphagnum moss here and some uh, vermiculite and perlite and I mixed everything and I replanted my orchid see my orchid my orchid uh, in five, 55 days it has very good results um, what I'm talk I wanted to talk about uh, yeah here I need to mention that I am feeding my orchid still in that way which I showed you uh, I use calcium um, Epsom salt and orchid fertilizer uh, still i am feeding my orchids that way uh, you can if you don't know how i feed my orchids you can go to that video and watch that video and you will learn something i think um, but that video is a little bit longer i wish you patience <laughs> that video was uh, one of my first videos and i showed you whatever i can show and it was uh, some people are um, telling me that it's boring but some people are liking that uh, because uh, you know don't pay attention to, to how to i am i am talking but i am here not to talk but i am here to explain my and share my experience with you and uh, if you use my medium your orchid will it can grow better uh, and it's very easy it's cheap uh, you save lots of money um, and I need to talk about the light also here light is most important thing when you grow orchids um, don't think that this orchid grew this uh, new roots and um, it started blooming it started growing new spikes and this baby uh, naturally yes I, I it is naturally growing naturally but I am growing it under a growing light this is the most most important thing too but one, one of my orchids um, it grew two babies I didn't do anything I didn't apply any uh, orchid uh, how to say orchid uh, cakey paste um, but it grew two babies but that those babies they don't have any roots yet they are big enough but they don't have any roots i think it's about uh, you know f 
uh, growing light under the gro growing light they grow babies and no not babies the babies grow roots faster i think and um this orchid um i never changed the position of this orchid some people are rotating their orchids um, one week they put this way towards the window orchids they even they stay under the growing light but they like to grow their spikes toward the natural light which is the window if i grow my orchid here and i have growing light on top my orchid anyway it it does it will not grow its spike toward the room but it will grow grow its spike towards the window and some people they make mistake they like to rotate their uh, their orchids uh, they put one week this way uh, or they don't pay attention the other next time when they water or they take uh, take the orchids they put other way this way or this way and they rotate the orchids it's i you know in my um with my experience i learned something orchids they don't like uh, to be rotated while they are blooming uh, these buds, if I put this way, these buds, they will, they will get stressed and they can blast their buds, you know, you can have bud blast. And that's why it's very important when you grow orchids, when they start blooming, you never touch. If I, if I grow my orchid this way all the time uh, and it's blooming, it needs to stay this way because this spike can continue growing and you will have lots of flowers and you can have big big long spike from your orchid and this is very important thing to to know some people they don't know and that's why I'm telling but this can be a separate video um, and here I talked about how I am um, feeding my orchid how I planted my orchid and how I am keeping, where I am keeping, you, sh you already saw that it's growing on the shelf, uh, looking to the window and it's growing under the growing light. That's why I have these um, results in 15, 55 days. This thing I wanted to share with you, uh, see this little tiny baby it's making my eyes happy it's very tiny but it's amazing that i have five uh, four fly flowers from this one is blasted and see now i have three and i have small tiny tiny root here and when it will grow i will separate this baby from the mother plant and i will make about this orchid another video and share with you probably if God wills. Uh, thank you for watching. <clears throat> uh, please subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet. And please like this video and share with your friends. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.